Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Joy Liker Feed Me Seymour and Messy Mansion Play MM20. I started off with Dainy Digits, Glitter Be Gone, and here is Joy Liker Feed Me Seymour. That's so pretty. So I'm going to scrape most of the polish off the brush and go in and go ahead and cap my free edge first. Now, we're going to go in for that first coat. Love the brush on this, and the formula was really, really nice. And you guys know how I love my pink shades, and this one's, this one's a keeper. It's so pretty. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So here we go. We're going to go in with that second coat. I'm still making a mess even though it's got a great formula and uh, you know Woody's back again to help with that mess <clears throat> there we go he's doing his job good deal so there we go two nice easy coats beautifully opaque now I'm gonna top it with some of the Pro FX quick dry top coat we're going to seal this one in so that we can do some stamping. We're in the mood for some stamping. There we go. Smooth that all out. Cap that free edge. That's a very pretty polish. So again, I'm going to be using that Messy Mansion MM20. But I'm going to use the big rose design, and today I'll be stamping with Sally Hansen from the Crayola Collection Wild Strawberry. And I'll be using my Clear Jelly Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper. I got some liquid latex on from IMK, the Protect Feel. Here we go. We're just going to go in and cover this image up. And I'm going to scrape it. Scraped a little hard. I've got some bald spots. I'm going to go back over it. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful image. Love this one. So there we go. Smash it down on there. I'm going to take this little piece of tape and pull up the latex. And then go in and get anything that I didn't get up. Or when protected from the latex. I'm gonna go and do that same thing once again to another nail. So I guess I'm having two accent nails today. Pick that up again and I find it easier when I'm trying to center an image that needs centering if I flip my hand around kind of facing me. I clean my stamper off on a lint roller and now I'm gonna clean this plate with pure acetone and a cotton ball. I'm gonna be using this Kiss Gel Strong. I didn't show the name of it, I'm sorry. I'll try to put it on the screen. But I'm just using a, well, an orange one stick, but I call mine Woody. And I'm going to uh, just add a little bling into the center of these flowers. And I really should have used a brush. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Being a little hard-headed today it happens and I'm just kind of adding a little you know something to it <clears throat> instead of putting like a rhinestone or a gem or something I just decided I would you know break that out I have broke out a brush and I apologize for the blurriness of this it's just every time I move my camera stuff around I end up having to refigure it all out again and I'm still working on it but I added some of that gold up to the tops of the other nails, just kind of up near the cuticle, just kind of in a, like a sliver of a moon kind of shape. And now I'm going to top coat everything with the Fast and Hard Top Coat from Vibrant Vinyls. There it is. Look how pretty. I like the little addition of the bling. Still letting some of that base show. Quite a bit of it, actually. And there we go. 
So I hope you liked this one. I do have a swatch photo coming up very soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.